How to get a job as a director? That's a great question. Um... <laughs> What's up everybody, my name is Cole Walliser and I'm a director living in Los Angeles. Uh, I do a lot of beauty work, so I've worked with Katy Perry and Pink and Cher and Britney and Tinashe. So I think that for everybody out there trying to make films, there's really two parts of it. There's like how to be good at it and then how to get work at it. Made a video on being better as a director, which is important because you need to be good to get a job, but the idea of getting work and continuing to work is a whole other facet that we are gonna discuss in five tips. The first tip that I have to give you guys, I think that with the way digital content is going today, being a jack of all trades is kind of the way to go as far as working. You're gonna be shooting, you're gonna be sound mixing, you're gonna be recording and editing all your own stuff at first, but the idea is to do that as much as you can until you no longer have to do that, which sounds like it makes obvious sense. But like be it jack of all trades until you can be a specialist is the short way of saying it. So I, when I started, I did every single job there was. And then after a little bit of time, I was able to bring in a gaffer. So now I have someone focusing on lighting. I don't have to worry about that. Someone focusing on sound. I don't have to worry about that. And I can just focus on camera and acting. And that becomes really beneficial to not only become a better director because you're honing in your skills, but it's a thing that you're becoming more specialized in what you're doing. And that's going to ultimately get you more jobs. All right. So tip number two, work procures more work. You will get more work because you're working. Um, because when you're on set, you meet other people, you meet other producers, you meet, you just, your network expands and then you're more apt to get hired or called for jobs. So the thing about that is that if you're not working, it's hard to work to get more work. But what you can do is you can do stuff for free. I try to do at least one free project a year, but if you hit a lull, start shooting stuff for free for people that have wanted to shoot something or shoot your own stuff. When you do that, it's like you show it to other people and you become relevant in their minds or people are aware that you're making more content, that you're out there making cool stuff and being active in it, you're more likely to get hired for a job. Uh, the other piece of advice, don't forget your tips in the middle of making a video about tips. Oh, the ego thing. I don't think that your ego is a reason to not do a job ever. I think time is the only reason. So if you're too busy doing other things or focusing on other things, that's a viable reason to not take a job. But if you're not busy and there's another job that you're like, oh, I don't want to shoot an event or like do this other random thing, that's not a reason. You got to pay your rent. You might meet someone new, you know, and again, work procures more work. So like, go do that job. Don't let your ego get in the way of it. So tip number three, I, I think it's really important to align your body of work to the jobs that you want to get, which only makes sense, right? I'm not gonna get hired to do like gritty crime thriller thing. I have none of that stuff in my reel. It's not to think that like, I mean, I think I could do it, but it's more about convincing someone else. So I decided to shoot my own music video for the weekend when he first came out with his first album. Um, I paid for it myself, I rented the hotel room, I got all my friends together, we shot this cool video. And it was a great addition to my reel at the time because it was something that was very different than what I had on it. And it, and it made it look like I could do a, a far greater scope of type of work because I had this range of like this dark, gritty, sexy stuff and this really bright, colorful stuff. So that was an example of me aligning my body of work to the type of jobs that I wanted to get. Okay, tip number four on working a shit ton in the industry. Have consistency in your work and in your reel. The problem is I think people become too precious with what they're showing on their reels. You know, there'll be, someone will have a reel and 90% will be dope and 10% will be some old random project or whatever. Someone hiring you is gonna look at your reel and look at all the dope stuff and then look at that 10% of like not so dope stuff and wonder to themselves, the product that we're hiring this person for, are they gonna return 90, like 90% 90 chance they're gonna return this dope stuff, but 10% chance they're gonna return this wax stuff. So it's vastly more important to be super consistent, cut out all the crap that you like did when you were younger or like just didn't work out or doesn't stand super strong. You'll get hired off of one good job, not 10 mediocre jobs. So the fifth tip in working as much as you can as a director, some people think that it's important to find a work-life balance, an appropriate uh, level of work and pleasure, which I think is also important. So my advice is not to pick one, but to live both in their fullest extent. Because I think it's really valuable to shut off everything and to focus just on filmmaking and be like, fuck, everything, fuck sleep and going out with friends and like doing anything but filmmaking, there's so much value into like being that, being in that headspace for an extended period of time, um, but that's not sustainable. You know what I mean? Like you'll get burned out and I did it for years 
And when I started getting burned out, I started to realize like, oh, I should probably have like a good work life balance because doing, going like balls to the wall nonstop is, is too much. Conversely, if you're always just like, oh, I'm just gonna chill, I'll like work here and like chill there, um, you're never really gonna get to where you wanna be. It takes a level of determination and a level of sacrifice to find success in this creative field. And so there's gonna be moments where you have to go all out. So I think my, my fifth tip is to live both of those fully at different periods. Um, go all in and then take a total break and go travel or let it go or like not worry about it and not think about it for a second. Those are my five tips for working more as a director. Um, I, I have a ton more, but those are my general top level kind of a things. Uh, if you have any more questions, on how you can work more or or thoughts that you or questions you want to ask me about working as a director or finding your career or anything comment below i'd love to hear them but these are my thoughts and uh i'll see you next time all right peace